Yo, Snapchat. Okay, so in an attempt to keep this under three minutes, I'm going to number every one of these snaps. So I've got 15 left. Okay, let's discuss the simulation theory of the universe, which has been on my mind for quite a while. The simulation theory is basically the idea that our entire universe is either a computational simulation that's running on some, like, you know, other different species entity's computer, or some type of mirror universe. The simulation theory is actually a very new idea, so uh, if you look up Plato's Allegory of the Cave, there's this, there's this concept that there's these people kind of in this cave, and all they ever see is a shadow of people walking past, and that is their reality. But when we look at how fast our own technology has advanced over the last just 50, 100 years, um, say even just in the gaming space, we've gone from Pong, like two things on the screen, to now like photorealistic, full simulated VR environment. But if you extrapolate that out just another 100 years, you'd think it'd be very likely that we'd be able to create full simulated universes with all the entities, all the complexity that we experience in our own reality every day. So then the thought experiment goes that, well, if, if we've been able to achieve full simulated universes in the space of, say, just 200 years, then surely on the universe timescale, someone else has done that before and before us. And then you're looking at a ridiculous probability, like 99.9% .9 likely that this is a simulated universe. And maybe not the first simulation, it might be a recursive simulation, a simulation of a simulation of a simulation. Even Elon Musk is in on this now. I think in a recent conference he said that there's probably a one in a billion chance that this is uh, like an original reality, it's not a simulated reality, which is pretty interesting. So what I'd love to see happen is for a theoretical physicist to actually rework and redo all of the findings of physics uh, and the experiments, but from the base assumption that we are in a simulated universe, and just see what they come up with. And I mean, making base assumptions is definitely not the way the scientific method works. That's more of a way a uh, religious person who believes and lives their life by a sky daddy operates. But it'd be an interesting thought experiment, nonetheless. <laughs> as much as the uh, probabilities of a simulated universe make a lot of sense, I'm not living my life by it as though it's some, you know, universal truth, some universal fact, some religion. It's not like that. But the more I think about it, the more it makes sense, particularly when you look at things like fractals. So fractals are amazing. If you go look up the Mandelbrot set, it, its equation is z equals z squared plus c. That simple equation creates massive complexity. Our entire universe is scattered with fractals at all levels, so self-similarity. There's fractals in trees, there's fractals in rivers, in, uh, in our brain structure, our lung structure, the structure of galaxies. But when you look at a universe, you think it's like vastly complex, way too complex to even imagine. But you get the same thing when you look at a Mandelbrot set. It's infinitely complex, but you know at the, at the base of it all is one simple equation that's iterated. So my question to you then is, could our universe just be a fractal, very, very simple fractal equation that's been running for 13 billion years? And how do we discover that equation? How do we work it out? At Fusure.